Hello everyone, it is your boy KG100 Entertainment. It is August 14th, Sunday, 2022. And today, what do we have? We have Shiba Inu going crazy today. Shiba Inu just decided to go stupid on a Sunday. He said, go up, let's go up, let's go crazy. What the fuck, nigga? I'm actually tripping. Okay, so we see here, Shiba spikes 30% on Sunday. Dogecoin climbs as well. Any of you guys know about the uh, the meme coins and stuff? Everyone says they're super volatile and that's true. We all saw Dogecoin go up to 70 cents. What was it last year? 70 cents and then it dropped right back down to 30 and then it just kept going down, bro. So you always gotta be careful when um, investing in these meme coins. Shiba Inu, what is it? Uh, Saitama Inu. Hell, all these fucking little meme coins, bro. They can make you money, bro. They, when they rip, they rip. But also when they go down, nigga, they go down, down, down. Bitcoin, when that shit go down, I mean, the percentage the percentage is not as much as, you know, a Shiba or a Dogecoin. And that's just basic. Um, I'm not even finna sit here and talk to y'all like I really know how this shit works. But that's just basically how this shit works. Supply and demand. There's more Bitcoin. I mean, there's more Shiba Inu out there than Bitcoin. Basically, the reason why Shiba Inu is like ripping right now is because it says Shiba Inu jumped more than 30% by midday, according to Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap um, rising. Shiba Inu jumped more than 30% by midday, according to Coin Market Cap, rising from 0 0.0004015016 in the early morning to 4.01774. Trading volume over the past 24 hours is 3.41 billion dollars bro would it be billion you can see everybody is hyped over this um we'll see what happens man i feel like with these meme coins it's all about the community bro if the community fuck with it everybody just start putting their money in boom it's gonna climb up if the community start getting skeptical they start seeing them red candles and they just all start selling it's over it's you're done you're stuck you're done so my suggestion is i wouldn't hold any meme coins the saitama inus the um, Shiba Inus, the Doge coins, the uh, Hodge coins. I'm saying all the Inu, Floki Inu is what it's called. That shit was up over 700%. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, as you can see, bro, the meme coins, when they shoot, bro, they pew, they shoot. But also, when you lose money, you fucking lose it. Let's go here to see the top gainers of the day and just look at the price action for Shiva, bro. Let's see how crazy it looks on the day, bro. But one thing you gotta watch is, bro, when you see these green candles like this, bro, you cannot chase them. When you chase green candles, you will lose the actual green in real life, bro. That's my philosophy. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, it started to rip uh, August 13th when at around whoo, at around 9 p.m last night is when it really started to rip and as you can see boom it just went crazy this today and midday when at about 9 30 okay so in the morning 9 30 a.m is when it whoo, it reached its height and now it's just up on a day but if you look here on the the year time charts i bought shiva like down here no no not down here and then it shot up to here. And then I lost like $600 like around here type shit. And so now she would, is like all the way down here to what? Four zeros, one, seven, one, six. It's on the damn one, six, eight, nine. So there's a good, real good chance Shiba could continue shooting up, bro. Because of the burns and all the other little shit. All the, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news, all that little shit. Uh, it's a lot of news around Shiba Inu, but I feel like the news might be over, bro. So if you if you in Shiba Inu now, bro, you might need to just take your little profits and just day trade it like that. Unless you're planning on holding Shiba Inu, which in that case, good luck to you, bro. I'm not one of those people. I would rather, much rather be sitting out like, damn, I missed out on Shiba than to be holding that shit long term and it just don't move. Because if you look at the supply of Shiba, bro, the supply is fucking crazy. Like, let's see this shit. Let's go down. Let's see if we can see this shit from here. The market cap is what? 9 billion? 9 Bs? 9 trillion? 
That's bees. That's billions. I'm tweaking. Nine billion. I mean, shit. Trading volume, 350 million yesterday. What am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the circulating supply. Look at the circulating supply, y'all. I can't even fathom this number. What? This is hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions. 549 trillion coins, bro. Hey, good luck to y'all, bro. <laughs> good luck to you. But I am not. I'm psh, no thanks. And the market cap is already dumb high. But hey, I'm power. I'm sending power and positive vibes to everybody holding Shiba Inu. I want everybody to go up. But of course, I want my shit to go up too. I'm only holding Bitcoin, Binance Coin, Crow Coin, and Polygon. Those are my only four. I was holding Veracity. I had a little bit of um, Harmony One. I had hella Shiba Inu. I had Dogecoin, BVS Finance. I had a lot of little shit that I just sold off because I was in a tough financial situation, I guess. And I seen the gains and I said, let me just take my gains. And I feel like I, I, you know, I played it smart because it was before the, the whole little crash happened this year. So I played it smart on some of the small caps, but I lost a lot on Veracity. I lost a lot on Harmony. I lost a lot. I'm still holding Crow, but I have little, I'm, I'm down on Crow. Um... I probably shouldn't have hold, shouldn't be holding crow long term. I don't know. I'm gonna like reevaluate that situation. If you hold crow, please let me know in the comments, bro. Are y'all day trading crow or are y'all holding it, bro? So I don't want to be sitting up here losing all my money, bro. Cause this is real life, bro. This is <laughs> real bread, real life. But anyways, man, thank you guys for tuning in the video, bro. I hope I get a a nice little um, outreach, reach a new little audience with this video. Cause it's my first ever cryptocurrency video, man. And um. I'm gonna put this in the video before, but I'm gonna say it at the end. This is not financial advice, bro. I'm not an expert. I've lost so much money in cryptocurrency. So I'm just making these videos to help y'all learn from me and help me learn with y'all basically. So we can all make money together, bro. Without further ado, I'm out. Thank you for tuning in, man. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please suggest other uh, video suggestions, man. Suggest what coins y'all want to talk about, bro. This might just totally be a crypto channel depending on how this video does, man. Anyways, I'm out.